This is Twitch Katana, and today I'm gonna demo an amp, and it's a Marshall amp. I've had so many questions about these amps, uh, the Marshall MG series. This is a Marshall MG100 HCFX. So it's the head version, it's in the carbon fiber like model range, and it's FX, it has built in effects. Uh, but it's basically the same main amp as you find in any MG series. It's I don't think they changed the actual amp that much. So this has different effects from the original. That's called like MG 100 HFX, just not the C. I think this has another version of the delays or something. But the I, the main amp I don't think they changed that much. And these come in all different sizes. This is the biggest one. Uh, the 100 watt head with a 4x12 uh, speaker. What can you do with this one? Uh, you can program it. For That's well, the big thing about this one. So you can have four separate channels. If you don't have the extra foot switch they ha that you have to pay extra for, for reasons I don't really understand, because you this really only works with this amp and it's yeah, it makes it the amp usable, basically. Uh, if you don't have this one, you are set to use just four uh, uh, presets that are like one for the clean channel, one for the more crunch channel, one for the overdrive channel, and one for the second overdrive channel. But with a foot switch, you can have like four clean sounds program and yeah you can do basically whatever you want you can even program it to have uh, one of the patches being the tuner and that's a really stupid feature because you can't have the, uh, there's a built-in tuner which you can only see if you buy this extra foot switch it can't see it on the amp uh, and you can't have it as i mean any other company or even marshall why don't you do it it's right would have it like you would pre press two uh, of these buttons and the tuner would come up. But no, now you have to program the tuner to one of these four select buttons. Really stupid. And the main amp, it's, yeah, it's nothing super complicated to me at least. Uh, you have four channels or four kinds of sounds, basic sounds. You have a clean, you have a crunch that's, yeah, I'll play them for you so you get to hear them. You have over, overdrive one and overdrive two, so that's different levels of high gain distortion. And then you have the effects part of this one, which again also can be programmed. So you have a reverb, and you have separate versions of reverb. You have studio and spring. And then you have the modulation effects. Yeah, you have the chorus, the flanger, the phaser, the univibe thing, and an octave, a low octave. And that's, I think, unique for the carbon fiber versions. And then we have the delay. We have four versions of delay. You have the regular digital delay where all the repeats sound like what you actually play. And then you have the tape delay where you have or the repeats start to degrade. They, yeah, sound like, I don't know. The, yeah, they change. I will play some for you to get to hear them. Or watch my video of analog delay. And uh, you have a reverse delay and you have a multi-delay, multi-delay. And then you have the regular controls for the amp. So it's input gain, uh, bass, middle, treble, and output gain. And then you have a master volume that's not affected by any of the programs. So that's just, you adjust that to the room or the setting, basically. And on top of this, you can, uh, uh, you have an, uh, an effects loop and you can decide if you want it engaged or not. 
And uh, finally, you have a feature called damping, and I will show it to you. It's basically like a loudness switch on a car stereo. Yeah. That's it. So let's hear it then. Here's my, my normal clean sound. So this is the clean sound, and I'm only using uh, a bit of spring reverb. <laughs> So that's the super clean one. And uh, next up I'm using a patch that has the crunch channel. So you can see this turn from green to red. Which I suppose is mimicking all the marshals, like the um, non-master volume marshals. <coughs> And this sound is really dynamic. You can, yeah, you, as you can hear, the, the amount of overdrive or distortion is really up to you to adjust with your playing. So you can play, if you play harder, you get a... Yeah, it really bites, but if you play light... And it also reacts to, uh, I mean, if you turn down the volume of the guitar, so I'm going to show you as well. And that's something people would tell you, that's not possible with a solid state amp. Well, this is a solid state amp and it's very possible. You could hear it yourself. Of course you can do it. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna show some of the effects while I'm in this channel because then you get all this high gain distortion and you won't be able to hear them. So uh, it's the same with this one, it's just a spring reverb. <coughs> If I try some of the more studio, like the, yeah, digital reverb, basically. Yeah, and now it's on an extreme setting, so, yep. I'm gonna turn it off. And then we go to uh, the modulation effects, and first we have the chorus. Then a phaser. And 
of Flanger. <laughs> And finally, the low octave. Octave, octave. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Next we have the vibe. It's supposed to sound like a uni vibe, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I turned off the modulation effects and now we go for the digital uh, delay. <laughs> And now the tape style delay, and as I said, the signal gets muddier and muddier for every repeat. So, it's supposed to mimic an old tape, tape style delay. Multi-tap, a multi-delay. Finally, the crazy one, reverse delay. You play this played back to you, but in reverse. It's kind of crazy effect. Okay, I'm gonna show the dampening effect as well. So I'm gonna turn off the effects. So here's the uh, amp without the dampening. And now we turn it on. Yeah, so you can tell, a lot more bass and uh, I think the f feature exists because usually marshals are known for losing like the bass response when you turn them down. So this is basically supposed to be used when you have low volumes, but well, you can use this bass boost if you have low high volumes as well. And I think I've done that in my next preset. Which will be overdrive one. So now it's, uh, you see the next one turn green. Again with the regular spring reverb. I don't really use the effects that much in my own presets. So yeah, overdrive one then. And uh, yeah. Here we go.
So that's, yeah, it's my rhythm sound, basically, what I use for, yeah, rhythm. And finally, the Overdrive 2 channel, and now I've added some of the tape delay. And of course, I'm using the spring reverb again. So here, full blast, and as much gain as you get. <laughs> When it's that much of gain, well, it's hard to get a clean sound out of it. But yeah, as you can see, you can turn it down and decrease the gain a lot. So there you have it, the Marshall uh, MG100. And this is my, this is actually my main amp. So that's how good I think it is. Okay, hope you found this useful. See you soon.